Hi, I'm Katie from the blog Hearts Content Farmhouse, and today I want to show you the right way to knead bread dough in a stand mixer. I love my bread machine. I make almost all of my breads in the bread machine because it just takes care of everything for you. And the number one reason that I love it is because I feel that doing bread dough is too much wear and tear on a stand mixer. It's not good for the motor and it shortens the life of the machine. But if you don't have a bread machine and you don't want to knead by hand, that's fine. You can make bread dough in your stand mixer. You're going to get the same product in the end. It's going to be just as good as the dough that's kneaded by hand or in the mixer. You just have to be aware that it's not great for the motor of your machine. And it's a little bit more hands-on time versus a bread machine, which is going to rise it for you and all that. But that's fine. If you don't have one, you should still bake bread. I made bread for the first seven years that I got into it with my stand mixer. I did eventually burn it out and had to have it repaired, but it was still worth it. <laughs> and um, if you don't want to get a bread machine right away, I get that. Get started with a stand mixer. And I just want to give you some tips now, the right way to do it, to minimize that wear on your machine and get a great result. First, especially if you're using instant yeast, don't be paranoid about the order you're putting your ingredients in. I always just put all my ingredients right in the mixer bowl and start mixing. It's not a big deal. So you start mixing, you give it a minute, use your dough hook, let it run, and then you want to check in that bowl and kind of evaluate what is going on. Um, ideally, your recipe will tell you what consistency you're looking for. But sort of a baseline to look for is that the dough should have formed a ball after one minute of kneading. It should be clearing the sides of your bowl and it may be clearing the bottom too. It may be sticking a little bit to the bottom. That's okay, but it should at least be clearing the sides. If it's not forming a ball, it might be too dry. You'll be able to tell because there will be like bits of flour that haven't been worked in and you can tell, okay, this is not going to come together. If that's the case, you just add water a teaspoon at a time really slowly. You'll be amazed by how much difference a little bit of water makes. If you find that it's not clearing the sides, that it's sticking as it goes around, add flour, again, a teaspoon at a time, really, really slowly. You can always add more. So then you go ahead and let it start the kneading process. Check again. Once everything looks good in terms of the consistency of your dough, let it knead for five minutes. Keep it on low. I keep it on stir. You either want it to be on stir or that lowest setting, which is like a one or a two. Um, anything faster than that, it's really, really hard on that mixer. Set a timer for five minutes and let it knead slowly for five minutes. And then come back. You need to turn the machine off and let it rest for at least five minutes. If you feel the top of it, you'll see how hot it is. So let the machine rest for five minutes it's good for the motor. It's also good for your bread dough because if it seems like it's a little bit too sticky, sometimes that five minute rest will have it absorb more liquid and the dough will start to tighten up. So five minute rest and then five minutes back on of kneading. So that is 10 minutes total of kneading. After that, you want to check and see if the gluten has been developed in your dough. The best way to do this is to look for windows. So you just pull off a piece of dough about the size of a golf ball and stretch it out. A window means that you see a translucent area in that ball of dough where light is shining through. If you don't see that, if it's tearing when you try to do that, it's not ready. The gluten needs to develop more. So five minutes again of really slow, low kneading. And then check for windows. Sometimes it takes me 20 minutes of kneading in the stand mixer. And that's about what the bread machine does. So um, don't rush it. That's one thing I really like about the bread machine. You're not tempted to just say, ugh, fine, whatever, let's move on to the next stage because you're getting impatient. You just wait and let it do its thing. With a mixer, you're introducing judgment and that is when things go wrong. <laughs> so don't rush this stage. If it needs more time, just give it more time. Always checking for those windows. Once you see them and you start stretching the dough and there are translucent areas throughout, you're good to go. Um, I like to just have the dough rise right in that metal bowl that comes with the stand mixer. So just wash it out really quickly, grease the bowl with cooking spray or vegetable oil, put it back in, cover it, let it rise, and just proceed with your recipe. So I hope this is helpful to you. I really encourage you to get a bread machine if you get into baking, but if you're not there yet, these tips should help you make the best use of your stand mixer. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.